Diamond and Savage FC. And let me give you the shot. Welcome to AFCRD TV. I'm here at Hayden Road after today's 2-1 defeat for the Diamonds against Starbridge FC and with uh, man in the match Alex Guard. Alex, uh, disappointing uh, defeat and of course uh, we're struggling to get that win at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, um, disappointing really. You can see why they're up there and I just thought their quality showed through today. Um, they had some very good players sort of going forward, you know, bring on the league's top scorer for the last two seasons. You know, it really shows the depth of quality and yeah, did deserve it. But there were moments in the game where we did actually show that desire and uh, get at them. Um, obviously at times they were on top and of course we got the goal after 18 minutes and, and I thought Nathan Hicks had a really good first half and what a great goal. Yeah, I think it was an excellent goal really. It was sort of a good move. We managed to actually start it from a defensive block from Bully or a big, you know, I think it was a tackle. We managed to play out and into the midfield and then sort of through the thirds and uh, yeah, Hicksy was, uh, that's where he's dangerous, you sort of get him running in behind and uh, yeah, he does the business. And uh, what's your views about their goal? Um, probably stood off him and Ben might have uh, thought he would have done better? Yeah, um, yeah, you see him make saves, sort of picking out the top corner and one-on-ones, you're always going to have one like that, um, he knows that he, he should save it but yeah, he's dug us out many a time so you can't be too unhappy with him. And uh, one each, what did the manager say? I suppose you were still in the game? Yeah, absolutely, still in the game. I thought going down the hill we played really well. I thought first 20 minutes we were we were sort of on top. They didn't really cause us too... They, all game really, they didn't really cause us too many problems in behind. You know, um, I wouldn't say that Ben made so many saves, but at half-time, just sort of carry on doing the same, just pick the tempo up if we can um, and keep going. we got absolutely nothing to lose, so that was the message really. But we couldn't create too many chances. I think we had uh, the odd shot. Uh, very good save, I think, again from Nathan Hicks. And uh, although Ben didn't have to make it too many saves, they got the goal and it was a bit scrappy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a scrappy goal. Um, there wasn't sort of a game of too many chances. Um, but again, the difference was that they took theirs um, when they got them. Still three games left. Uh, difficult games on paper. Um, I think need to pick the team up, a win would help on it and of course uh, looking forward to Bank Holiday Monday. Yeah absolutely, um, to be honest I think the next game everyone's playing for places, um, everyone wants to start Bank Holiday Monday, everyone knows the size of the game for the fans and sort of what it means to the club and uh, you know I, I assume they've won the league today um, but that doesn't mean a thing to us on Monday, it, it doesn't matter. OK, mate, we'll look forward to that. And uh, I think uh, having interviewed you so many times, it's cost you a fortune, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's cost me too much. <laughs> too, too much. Cheers, mate. All right, thanks, Alex and John. And again, the final scoreline reads AFC Russian and Diamonds 1, Stalbridge 2. And now with the manager, Andy Peaks. Andy, that's got to be one of the more frustrating losses Diamonds have suffered this season. 
Yeah, I mean, they're all frustrating. Um, but yeah, that's up with them, definitely, uh, because we thought we've done okay in large parts of the game. Um, we've come away with nothing, so very disappointed. Well, one good thing, the scoring drought is over. Instead of a nil-nil, uh, Diamonds did get on the score line. Uh, the scoreboard with a lovely goal by Nathan Hicks going coast to coast, uh, scoring a great goal in the 18th minute. Yeah, no, we, we obviously wanted to score a goal. We changed the formation a little bit and changed things around. And he broke the lines exactly like we wanted him to and tucked it in the corner. It was a great start for us. Yeah, and a good finish from him. Unfortunately, though, Salbridge struck back with an equaliser shortly before halftime. So uh, how did you feel at the interval? I was disappointed with the goal, to be honest, because I thought we'd done okay. They'd not had loads of pressure. They'd not got in behind us. And, you know, for a team that was second in the table, we knew they'd be decent. And I didn't think they'd cause us a great deal of problems. I thought we'd managed the game quite well. And obviously conceding that close to half-time in the manner we did was, was disappointing. Now, you did juggle the lineup a little bit uh, for the starting 11, most notably. Uh, ben Aquai gets his first start uh, for Diamonds. I thought uh, the young lad played well. Yeah, he's a young boy learning. He's trained quite a lot. He's come on a couple of times. And I just felt today it was a game I wanted to let him have a run and see what he could do and take the shackles off him really and go and play. And I thought he'd done well. I thought he added to what we've got here. And then as it turns out, only one goal in the second half, uh, that by Stalbridge, uh, the big boy uh, Luke Benbo with the game winner as it turns out. That was a funny old goal, wasn't it? Yeah, I can't, I'm not quite sure what happened, but we didn't clear it. We had chances to clear it and we didn't. And then it, to be fair, it dropped to him, a certain person you wouldn't really want it to drop to. Um, and he's put it in the net and we've lost the game 2-1, so I'm disappointed by that. Um, again, two, for me, two bad goals. And what we've learned this year is you, if you give goals away, you, it makes it difficult to get points. And that's what's happened today. I thought we played OK at times. Their keepers made a save near the end. Um, you know, we've not created loads of chances, but I don't think we was going to against the Stalbridge team that are right up there. Um, what we do do is defend quite well and limit chances to the opposition. And today, the two goals have been disappointing and they took them. Now, you brought in uh, three substitutes in the second half, Dean, Farrell and, and Bowen. They uh, helped somewhat, didn't you think? Uh, I didn't think they made a massive difference, to be honest. But what I felt was that some of the boys hadn't played much football, as in Joe Curtis and Ben Akoy, so I wanted to freshen it up. Um, and to be fair to Shanks, he looks tired at the moment. He's, he's put such a shift in across the season, so he looked tired today. So I thought I'd give Jack the last little bit, see if anything happened. Uh, it didn't particularly happen. Sometimes they come off, sometimes they don't. Have you ever had a game where you've not made any substitutions with a team? Very good question, Bruce, which is unusual for you. Um, I can't actually remember. Um, I don't think I have, no. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just trying to think of something different to ask you on these post-game interviews, but uh, that would be a rare occasion to not even make at least one sub. No, I like that question. I'm sure someone's going to be doing their homework and finding out, but I can't remember not ever doing a substitution unless yeah. we travelled with only 11 players, and I might have done. Now, unfortunately, uh, I believe uh, Diamonds really uh, won't be making the playoffs after all this season, but still, overall, it's been a great season for the club. Yeah, I don't think it's mathematically possible now, um, which is disappointing. It's petered out a little bit the last couple of weeks, but we knew it was going to be tough because of the teams in and around us, um, and we haven't scored enough goals. That's a fact. What's important for me now and the boys we've just spoke about is let's go and win some games in the last three and put a shift in and not, not, not let the season just drift away because that would be a shame after what we have done. Uh, we know we've got three massive games coming up. Uh, let's try and win as many as we can. Well, we're all getting excited for that big local derby coming up on Easter Bank Holiday Monday against the Poppies. But first, though, uh, next Saturday, Colville Town will be the opposition uh, on the road. Yeah, another good team, a uh, very dangerous team. So that's going to be a tough one. And then obviously we're going to the Kettering game. Um, we know it's going to be a tough game as well. They've won the league for a reason. So they're where they are. Uh, but it's a great game for us to have. We've got absolutely nothing to lose and we're going to go and have a go. I was impressed uh, with the Glass Boys. Would you fancy Stalbridge maybe to be the winner in the playoffs? I wouldn't like to say the playoffs can be a bit of a lottery count at who it's for at the right time. It's going to be fine margins. There's a lot of good teams in the league and there'll be four good teams in the playoffs, so it could be anybody's. All right, well, once again, Andy, thanks for your time. We'll see you next week. I don't need love.